What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network and Hard Knock Digital Culture back again with another episode of The Capsule. This is where we take small snippets and put it into a smaller consumable conversation about the latest and greatest and AAA genre-defining gaming news. And boy, do we have a doozy for you today. Upon the heels of the APK deal, getting the provisional approval from the CMA finally, our video today is titled The Future of Xbox, Activision Blizzard Acquisition and Critical Decisions Ahead. But before we get into all that, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. We appreciate all y'all straight up. All right, let's get into it. Welcome back, gamers and tech enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of The Capsule. Today, we've got a blockbuster topic for you, one that's been making headlines across the gaming world. We'll be delving deep into the recent developments surrounding Xbox and Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard King. But first, let's rewind a bit and discuss how Xbox got to this pivotal moment. And we're gonna do that by bringing out different segments, all right? So segment one talks, we're gonna be talking about Xbox's missed milestones. This is critical because this was key. Uh, this was a key talking point that they brought up in the courts of why this deal was needed for them, why it was imperative for courts and regulators to approve this deal because of their missed milestones. So court documents have revealed that Xbox has been missing the mark on its milestones. From the recent news articles, we can see that Xbox's performance has been underwhelming by their own admission. Phil Spencer, the Xbox CEO, has openly admitted to failing to compete effectively with Sony over the past two decades. Xbox Game Pass, while initially successful, seems to be slowing down and the launch of Redfall disappointed many gamers. The financial model of Game Pass is also a point of contention, with Microsoft acknowledging that it's impacting sales. Now, let's talk about the implications of these failures and how the acquisition of Activision Blizzard could be the game changer Xbox needs. And we're gonna do that in section two, Xbox's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Microsoft's purchase of Activision Blizzard King for a whopping 68 billion, which, which may be adjusted now to 75 billion, is nothing short of monumental. It could provide Xbox with the firepower it needs to regain lost ground. Activision Blizzard brings an impressive portfolio of iconic franchises like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Diablo. These titles have the potential to bolster Xbox's gaming ecosystem and attract millions of new players. But, and this is a big but, the success of this acquisition hinges on how Microsoft manages these franchises and these newfound resources. If handled right, it could be a game changer. But if managed poorly, it could spell disaster. And that's a segue to section three, the risk of mishandling Activision Blizzard. One major concern is how Microsoft will handle the beloved Call of Duty franchise. Activision has already lost millions of players in 2023, and if Xbox mishandles the juggernaut of a franchise, it could backfire spectacularly. Gamers are fiercely loyal to Call of Duty, and any misstep could lead to and even, even bigger or just all around mass exodus. And they gotta be cognizant of that because there's a lot of buzz out there about Ubisoft's X Defiant. So the question is, how will Xbox navigate this treacherous terrain and ensure that their newfound treasure doesn't turn into liabilities? That leads us into section four, the potential fallout. Now court documents suggest that Xbox might consider ex exiting the gaming business by 2027 if things don't improve. Imagine a gaming world without Xbox. The implications for the industry and gamers could be massive. Xbox has been a key player for decades and its absence could reshape the entire landscape. But before we dive into doomsday scenarios, let's consider a different approach. What if Xbox focuses on its core strengths and invests in creating top-notch content once again. That takes us to section five, the path to success. In our final segment, we explore an argument that calls for a shift in Xbox's strategy. Perhaps it's time for Microsoft to prioritize creating exceptional games over packing everything into a subscription service. 
restricting some of their best content to purchase only for a period of time could build excitement and drive sales. Again, and, that, and that'll offset their admitted cannibalization of sales that if you look at the dots and connect them properly, is leading to them missing milestones, financial milestones more, uh, more or less. Addition, additionally, and this is the biggest point I wanna drive home here. Additionally, there's the question of leadership, all right? Does Xbox need a change at the top to ensure they have the right people to curate and manage top-notch content? Phil Spencer, while passionate, there is no doubt about that, that he's passionate about gaming, has presided over a period of mixed results. So that, my friends, now brings us to our conclusion. There you have it, folks. The Xbox and Microsoft saga is more thrilling and complex than ever. The acquisition of Activision Blizzard King is a double-edged sword that could either propel Xbox to new heights or lead to its downfall. Can you imagine a $75 billion bust? Hmm. That said, we don't know. Could be a $75 billion parachute <laughs> to, to the promised land. Time will tell. As gamers, though, we can only hope for the former and eagerly anticipate, or the latter and eagerly anticipate the future of gaming. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Xbox and its uncertain future. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes of Gaming Unveiled. And until next time, happy gaming and have a wonderful gaming day. Peace. All right.